I think this is what most people imagine when they picture mushing. It's a nice sunset and the team's running on the trails that should and the weather's good. But it's a lot more complex than that. My name is Janelle Trowbridge. I'm an Arctic Youth Ambassador from Nome, Alaska, and my family owns 39 sled dogs. Um, I've run the Junior Editorat twice and helped my dad out on various races. And today I just want to show you a little bit more of the work that goes into having a functional team that can race. Trady! Trady, <laughs> These dogs are athletes. There's a lot that goes into being able to run a race. You have to train, they have to be fit enough. This requires many miles of running. So we run in August and we run in the winter and you'll see the dogs in different um, types of seasons. So that's always fun and it's a lot of work and time commitment. With the dogs clocking out miles, the need for food is a lot higher than your normal household dog. Um, in Nome, it's kind of hard because we're not on the road system, so we get pallets full of dog food bags, and they're not the normal type of kibble you get from Walmart. They're a lot higher in fat substance because these are long distance athletes burning fat like furnaces. Um, and we also use real meat and fish to keep these dogs healthy and happy. Here you go. <laughs> you good doogies. Are you ready? You ready? In order to communicate with my leaders in the front, I use um, a simple command set. Ha is left, O in the middle is on by, straight ahead, and G is right. Having dogs that listen to you, you when you give a command, is a different story. And this is what I think is one of the most um, difficult parts of mushing, is finding that balance in between that authority of like, yes, I'm alpha dog, and yes, I mean what I say, um, you can't let a dog get away with a command because then they start to realize that they have control of you and then your team won't listen to you anymore. Um, but you also have to have a balance of like, yes, we're team members and yes, I love you and yes, I take care of you. Um, so it's almost like trying to coach a team of two-year-old children and get them to work with you. Um, so you can't, you have to be strict, um, but you also have to be understanding. So I think that's the, one of the most difficult parts of mushing, is being a leader. <laughs> well, I hope I helped you understand a little bit more of what goes into mushing. And this doesn't even touch the tip of the iceberg. We haven't gone over like how to dress in the cold and what to pack in your sled. Um, but maybe I can catch some more of your time a different time. Um, so this is Janelle Trowbridge signing out and thank you for allowing me to share.